Alright, so got the radiator home. Um, dude said there was a giant hunk of shit in the bottom of it, so it should be much, much better. No more leaks. Um, gave me a one year warranty. So, for 200 bucks, it's totally worth it because I think this uh, to replace, to get anything that's even comparable to this thing, and I'd have to spend over $1,000. So, I'm happy. Hopefully, uh, um, it doesn't leak and it works properly. Dude's been around Vegas here for like over 50 years. His shop, it's pretty much the best radiator shop in town. Everybody recommends this guy. So I feel pretty good about it. Anyways, we'll get this over to the shop and see what James has got going on. Um, I know he's trying to run the Suburban out of gas so we can take that tank out of the Suburban and throw it in my truck and do that swap. We're going to just kind of rinky dink wire it up uh, until that harness gets here um, I'm hopefully trying to get that my truck out of the shop by this weekend um, it's Wednesday today but I know I know uh, they got some other shit that they want to start working on so until that wiring harness gets there we'll probably just wire up my motor just to get it back to my house and then go from there so basically when we took the engine out, uh, we looked at the flex plate and saw that all the holes on the flex plate had been wallered out. And we're like, what the hell was going on with this? And after Taryn did a bunch of research, we figured out that um, Chevy actually never uh, or possibly only once mated the big block to a 700R4. So... Um, we thought that one year, I think it was 91, we figured out that, that Chevy had come out with that, uh, that 454 SS pickup, and that had those two units combined, but we can't find uh, a flex plate that matches up to the torque converter. So basically what we're doing is we're going to, uh, we pulled my torque converter off. There's a guy here in town that will basically uh, cut the front of my torque converter off and then machine it and weld on, um, a torque converter or the front of a torque converter off of an 84 that will fit onto my big block flex plate. And as far as the fuel tank goes, we got, um, James's, uh, 30 gallon, 31 gallon tank out of his suburban he ordered a new 40 gallon to put back in his suburban so this is the tank that's going to go into my truck um it has the right the correct uh fuel pump and all the fittings and everything so it should be a lot easier <laughs> 